Hello everyone, welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we got some money, which is all very well and good, but it put our money maker in stress recovery, and also one other person, which was uh, Megistus, I think? Yeah, it's a, a man-at-arms down here. We do, however, have another man-at-arms. But what we were going to do is look at upgrading the stagecoach. Unfortunately, we haven't got enough deeds yet, and we could swap out, but the exchange rate is not great. And also, we want to be able to upgrade the guild as well. Uh, well, no, the blacksmith. And the blacksmith is 20 and 21 of both, and we only have 17. And I think that if I were to get 20... Uh, 3 deeds out of crests, we would not have 42 crests left. So what I think I'm going to do... I'm just going to trade... Uh, crests here for... 4 deeds... Yes. Interesting. That's one to one. Ah, it's three to one. Okay. You can only trade them in threes. Right, right, right. I understand. Um, we will upgrade the weapon smithing, which will allow us to do more damage. I don't think you need to, however, because you're mostly for healing, so I will upgrade your armor, but not your, not your stabby. Everyone else, I'll upgrade your... Ooh, your everything. There we go. Questing Sword, you say? Oh, that's your name of it. Okay, I thought we were doing well there with a different colour title, but actually that's what you arrived with, so... Yeah, everyone's got the same thing. Alright, cool. A, don't forget trinkets this time. And B, if you have a look in here, we have now got a boss fight in the wield. Which I'm happy with. Uh, it's unfortunate... Well, not unfortunately, but it is a level 1 apprentice boss fight, so of course these jokers won't come because they're too full of themselves. So what we're going to try and do is produce a party that can cope with the wield and can beat one brigand eight pounder, which is a cannon. So I think we'll take Bagel. I think we'll take Doug. I think we'll take Viz. Silence. They should all really be level 2s, because I can upgrade the level 2s. Now, Snowlin, you're... Versus Beast and versus Mark. There are some beasts, but it's mostly Eldritch. I'm wondering whether we respec one of our two occultists. One of them to do a lot of damage against Eldritch. Mm, doesn't really help, I think. Oh, we've got a Mark, though. So, in fact, maybe we want to take... The Houndmaster? Uh, no. That was Snowlin. Do you have a... Yes, you've got crit versus marked. You have your own mark, which will de-dodge them. But you have a de-dodge as well. That might be valuable. And this is very valuable. So... If we deselect that and do that... Uh, no. Yes. We don't necessarily need... We don't need the mark or the dodge debuff, although having them both at the same time is slightly more valuable than having them one at a time. But I think if we have two people who can heal, one of whom can also remove stun, and I'm not sure if that does everybody, but it might do, um, then we have a, a damage debuff and a dodge debuff. Oh, it marks as well. So there you go. We've got both on this character. So having the extra heal on the other character, which is Dutch, who is no longer rabid, it's a good idea. So we'll go back to the estate and we'll put these people in the blacksmith. I will probably... Damage base, crit base, speed base. You do get a speed upgrade, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to make sure the actual damage dealers have got sharper claws, basically. And Dutch with a heavier crossbow. We can't do the armor yet, but that's fine. We're running out of money quite quickly. Although, we do have trinkets that we don't want anymore. So we'll sort by name. And get rid of... Ah, it was actually the bleed stone we didn't want. Here it is, the damage stone. Minus four dodge is not great. It's only a thousand, but yeah, we'll sell that one. That could be good. That could be good on our... Um, on our grave robber, who we were using shadow fade with a lot. But we're gonna do the same basic thing with... Uh, the bagel, at least. Let's equip these trinkets now whilst we think about it. 
It's going to be the plus 15... No, it'll be the plus 30%, I think. Let's go by rarity. Uh, we want... I know it's more stress damage, but we can probably cope with that. And then this. So you're going to be a very good healer and not very likely to bleed people at all. Um, it does debuff our debuff skill chance, which means that the other reason we're taking Bagel for this one suffers. But not so much that I'm upset. And not so much that I want to switch our, our things back around, especially since we're going to have to pay if we want to be able to use any of the rest of these. Well, a demon's pull could be good. We haven't got enough money. So, that leaves us with uh, Doug here. Is going to need... Do you have bleed skills? You do. That could be valuable. I might take that one. We don't tend to, but... In the, in the wield, I think Blight and Bleed is going to be... Well, Bleed instead of Blight is going to be valuable. More pro, more max HP. Less damage, more stress damage. Not necessarily great. Stun, debuff... Oh, it's a cultist only, which is a shame. Quick draw. So you could go first. Basically, completely first. But that doesn't really help. So... We kind of want to buff you in the sense that you're going to be at the front, so... Move resist? No, that's the opposite. More accuracy is probably valuable on the uh, Hellion, actually, because the Hellion has somewhat 90% accuracy in most things. Yeah, 90, 90. That's 100, but that's fine. Uh, then we have... Dutch. Who could also benefit from accuracy, but I'm going to see if we've got any specific trinkets for you. Move resist, move skill chance. Are we using the move? I think we've got bowlers, which move. Do they move? Not that one, yeah. So we want that. Don't shout down the microphone if you can help it. Uh, blight skills we don't have. Bleed skills, not too interested in. That could be good. That could actually be very good. If we can knock back some units right at the start, which gives us a, a, a strong chance, because now we've got that one, that will help. It will slow us down at the end, but you can, you're can you basically doing finishing moves anyway. Because, you know, you've got the, the clear mark target, you've got the versus marked thing. So you're going to have to go after everybody else anyway. Because we're going to want to mark before you. So that's actually... Although it's in red and it seems bad, I think that's good. And then we are also taking... Viz. What do you use on a... Abomination. Didn't get an abomination only. I know, we went for the other one because it was a quicker. That's okay. That's fine. So we want to kind of try and do less stress damage if we can manage it. Like this. Slows you down a bit, but that's okay. Put another one. Didn't I sell this? Uh, I kind of don't think we need this, but I might take it if we're likely to get stressed out, so... Like, take the hit of the 15 percentage points difference between that and the other one. Minus two dodge. More damage. That could be good. Could be good. More dodge. More stun resist. I just want to do more damage, to be fair. Can we do that? Just more damage? Straight up beating the crap out of things? No? Is that... Less damage. Close. At least it mentioned damage. We could just do damage versus beast, but I'm pretty sure that the boss we're fighting is not a beast boss. So... I guess we just take max HP then instead, or a stun skill chance. We'll do that, we do have a stun skill, and that could be very useful. Uh, it's this one. It's also knockback. It's not stun. It's just knockback. Do you have a stun? Tell me you have a stun. You do have a stun. That's the stun. Okay. We can use the stun in human mode as well, which is really nice. Okay. I think that's good enough. We do want to go here with these people. We win. That's a really nice one. That's 33% heal skills. Do we already have one of those? Probably. Oh, we do. Okay, so we can sell that. That's fine. Get some money back. That's provision for this interminable journey. I hope we've got enough cash. I'm going to take plenty of everything because we want to be ready when we get to the boss. I'm going to take two of those. One of those. I'm definitely going to take three of those, though. I think this should be enough. Um, 
You don't have anything that will remove Blight and Bleed, but you could do big, uh, uh, 69%. You could do big heals, so I'm happy with that. I guess we see how we do. Simple folk are by their nature loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. I'm always up for a good demonstration. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. Sweet. Alright, so we've got to go down here and beat the crap out of the cannon. Doesn't sound like much, but it's harder than you might think. So you will go first, even though I thought you were going first, but okay. As you will. Can't hit that. That does damage and bleed. I'm happy with that. How much bleed? Two per three rounds. So we, you're going to get a round in, which I'm not happy with. You can heal and stress heal yourself, which is really good. If we do this, then you're going to die on your go. Yeah, perfect. And now we can think about other things, like YouTube. Well, oh, we moved resist. Okay, well, I'm glad we didn't rely on that much. All right. So, Eldritch. Human Eldritch, but we can't reach those with that. We'll just debuff them in terms of damage. That seems like the most sensible thing to do, because they will start attacking us, and we can't keep buffing ourselves for dodge like we were in the last episode, so there's that. That's not too much damage. That's fine. Why are you... You probably came in stressed. That's fine. Uh, stun one? I guess. As usual, stun the one closest to death, although by doing so, it is now the one closest to death, but that's fine. Uh... And a bit less dodge? No. You need to de-prot, but we don't have the de-prot, so... I'll just keep debuffing your damage until we can do something else. Stab it. Probably should have marked it for the uh, Arbalist, actually, but that's okay. Oh, we can only shoot that one anyway, so <laughs> I guess... Fuck me, I guess. Is this a stun? No, it's just a knockback. Just shoot that. This is not handled the best. I Apparently, I'm still getting used to the way these things work, but that's okay. We've got plenty of heals available. I want you to do damage, but... I don't want to transform you. So I guess you just keep hitting and stunning if you can. Alas, this one went first. So we'll mark this. Impressive. Did, you, did I just crit for zero? Is that what you're saying? I'm happy to accept a crit for zero, but it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem likely that that's what happened. <coughs> that was a timely crit, as you might imagine. So we'll think about actually providing heals in the next turn, but Bagel's actual heal skill is high enough that I'm not concerned about the fact that you're 12 down, 13 down. Don't use that torch, use that torch. There is a Curio, so we could get something. Tetanus, maybe. Uh, maybe we should Iron Swan this. That seems like a good idea. We could kill it, but we didn't. Still, we could kill it. Then we should try and stun this. That seems right. Stops that one having to go. If that one doesn't get to go until it's dead, which it is. <gasps> you dick. Do you think it accuses the one that last attacked it? Debuff resisted, so we've only got stress. And don't forget we have a camp. My throat is hurting. <coughs> you have to excuse the coughing. I believe I now have my third cold of the month. We could do this. Four to six. Or... We could mark... This one? Can anyone else hit the back? You can hit the back. You can only hit the back with sniper shot. Ah, yes. Iron Swan can hit the back. So, if we target this one, 
and I hope the Iron Swan isn't dodged. We don't know what the turn order is going to be like. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. You can de-stress yourself though, so that's all. But you can heal and de-stress yourself, so if I don't want you to do anything, which in this case I do... Do I risk... Uh, no, you're definitely going last. Because your speed is high. So I would like you not to have a go, if possible. And you've already had a go, so... Although it's, like, not ideal, I'd rather absorb HP than stress damage at this stage. No bleed. No bleed. Stun came off, exactly what we expected to see. Iron Swan should deal with that. Could have done that the first time, we wouldn't have had to hit it twice, but okie dokie. And now we tank the HP damage from these passes. That seems to work for me. So we really, really want to think about getting rid of the stress dealers before we even consider dealing with the damage dealers because we can cure HP damage. We cannot cure stress damage. Stun is great. The reason I stun that one is that you are going to mark that. And you're less dodgy, although you didn't have dodge in the first place. You dodge though, which is really valuable. And you're going to hack. I'd like to know how much damage you're going to do to that. Well, that was the max roll, and that could get you into death range by Dutch. Which is very likely. We'd have to have completely rolled minimum for that to go wrong. And then we just uh, deal with this right now. Start healing, I guess. That's probably you. Excellent. Again, we've only had two bleeds, I think, so far, using Weird Reconstruction and the bleed debuff amulet there. Just, just hit it. <laughs> we could have healed and de-stressed yourself. We'll do that in the future. I'm actually expecting stuns to happen later, so I do feel like bringing the stun, the de-stun skill was the correct thing to do. Even though it may not seem ideal at this stage, because we're basically not using it. Well, we'll see if it does everybody. I think it may do. I expect it would. Oh, we should use the Curio as well. You're an occultist. Have a look in the grave. Wow, that's a long scout. There's nothing of value inside. Well, that's good. Uh, I'm glad to have found the trap. Although I'll have forgotten about it by the time we get there. Holy water? No? Shovel. Looks like grave digging pays off sometimes. That's what we need. Lots of Ds. I pressed escape just to get out of nothing that was happening, but... It felt like the right thing to do. We're going to manually use the correct stack of torches from now on. Until we've got rid of that one. More scouting is valuable. And another trap. Good to know. Don't forget about this trap, though. It'll tell us what our trap resist is when we get there. Uh, disarm skill, I mean. 70, 70. It's actually you, which is not ideal. Doug done it. Good on you. What's our new curio? Ah, box of aliens. I'm a fan of that. Wealth beyond yeah. measure. I mean, deeds are great. That's actually what we want. The fool, but the cash was <laughs> a pittance. Peanuts, crumpets, surprised. Hmm, so you go first. No. <laughs> what? Look. Okay. Well, your stun skill is better, which is why you're doing so well. I think we do this. Light resist 60% versus a stun resist 10%. I guess we just knock one out. They're surprised, not stunned, so they will go. Oh, I should have done that one. Misplay. Or just kill one. Almost certainly. We should hit the one we can't hit with anybody else. That seems like the sensible thing to do. 50-50? Oh, perfect. Of course, Dutch can also hit the back, so that's not huge. Mark this one. It gives us a much better chance of actually killing it with Dutch when that... That comes to be the option. Of course, you're going to rush forward, so... I had not necessarily thought that two stages forward that I needed to think it through, but... I uh, know. Oh We've got back to where we were. Ideal. So you can uh, heal you. For three. That's three more than nothing, and we didn't bleed, so... 
It was nevertheless a profit. Why are you getting another go? Excuse me? Can we talk about this? Could kill it, which is why I tried it. You didn't get the stun buff. Okay. Another one, falls. Another one bites the dust. No corpses left by these dogs, so it's a fairly simple fight, all told. Is that cure bleed? No. You'd think it would, being a bandage, but okay. It's only two, two damage, really. If I can get, uh... Fizz to have a go? Before anyone... Which we can't. <laughs> I was going to say we could heal his uh, stress. Honestly, we're not done badly on stress, and we didn't get any diseases from that, as far as I remember. 275 gold. No disease. No disease. No disease. No disease. Could have got rabies again, Dutch. I would have... Uh, I would have had to apologise. We'll open it. It's trapped. Yeah, you're blighted. Ah, uh, you can tank that because you're foolish enough to trigger the trap. And also it's only six damage. Only six sounds like a big difference from... What are you talking about? From uh, the last episode where six damage was quite a lot. That was uh, risky, but nevertheless. But we can easily heal six damage in the next encounter with uh, with Bagel. So I'm going to want to try and keep the camping available until the very end of the map, if possible. Or at least as close as possible to the end. To give ourselves a maximum advantage against the boss. Knowing that some camping skills are going to have... Um... A, a time limit in terms of in terms of the, the buffs themselves. Usually it's four combats, right? So we kind of want to keep these things stun locked and then dead. So otherwise they'll start reproducing and it'll be a pain in the ass. So I'll mark this one. I hope that I don't get to go first in the next round. Let's we'll see if we can kill one outright. We can actually. I'm just hoping to go first. We should kill this one, even though it ruins the purpose of... Oh no, torch. No, corpse. Torch? Ah, I'm panicking. Don't panic. It's okay. I kind of want to stun it, but I don't think I can. Maybe I just have to hope that it attacks me? If it goes next? It doesn't go next. We could kill it? We didn't. It seems to be rolling lower than I'd like. Oh, but that's perfect. Well done, Dutch. Finishing it off. Sorted. That was a really good fight. You need to kill those things before they do anything. Remind yourself that overconfidence is could be terrible otherwise. Insidious killer. I thought it was important to make a beeline to the boss as usual in these missions because we could have explored earlier on in the thing, right? We could have gone down here and otherworldly corruption. But like, there's there's at least one thing to have looted, but we're gonna get so much stuff anyway. I should probably think about eating some of this. Paid for in blood. So we're on dim lights, so we'll crank on the torch. I just put a fingerprint on my glasses, which is going to annoy me for the rest of the episode, but I won't bore you with the details. This is anti venom. We don't have any. I'm not going to do it. Whatever that makes me. I'm not going to use a Curio. Surprised. Good. Just, just on the edge of a surprise there. Hmm. Maybe we can stun both of these so they don't start trying to give us rabies. And then do as much damage as we can to the one at the back. Probably even stun that one so they don't get a go at all this turn. Which gives us a massive opportunity to at least get rid of the stress dealer. I mean, although we are going to camp, so too much stress is not necessarily a bad thing. Possibly could have done that differently. I'm not sure which one of these is going to go first, so I'm just going to mark one at random, I guess. Basically, I need I need it to be there so Dutch can shoot it really hard. Oh, let's mark them both. A crit! Well done. Zero stress. Excellent. No rabies, please. Just bleed. That's fine. Yep, you resisted your bleed. I am happy with that. So I'm just going to, like... 
It won't leave a corpse, which is a shame, because then the mark comes forward. Which means Dutch can't actually shoot. The Dutch can't actually shoot this one, which is what I wanted him to do. We could knock it back. Or just <laughs> crit the thing we're gonna knock it back into. Whatever, just die. That was very lucky. We did bleed, but we didn't get rabies, and I was worried about getting rabies. Um. Excuse me. <laughs> What's with the with the crazy stacking? Crazy stacking. Press R. I don't think that does anything, but just in case it does. Whoops. It's probably a battle here and then the boss. Yeah. Well, I reckon we can fight this battle without worrying too much about it. There is another battle on the way. Uh, sure. A fortune waiting to be spent. Ooh, we did have a bandage. We needed the other one, not bandage. Anti venom. You. Forty percent, twenty percent. Three to six, three to six. We have to roll full to kill one. But I guess if we don't, it's stunned, and that's probably the worst one to still be alive. So. If we were not guaranteed to kill, then you go for the thing you're guaranteed not to kill, in my opinion. Wow! How are they more powerful than a pair of manacles? Seriously. There you go. Well done. Didn't even get a turn. Quite happy with that. Success so clearly. 250 gold. Uh, I or is it merely really don't care about that. Light? I want to keep these shovels because I have been burned before. On not having a shovel right at the end and giving ourselves an immense amount of stress. Not in this playthrough. The previous playthrough. Ooh. Not seen these people go before for a long time. It is the force of devilry, you should know. I'm going to use stress attacks now. Because we're about to camp in this very room. So you can stress out as much as you like. I don't mind. Fizz can heal his own stress. He's going to have to, apparently. And everyone else can be de-stressed as a result of camping. Friends for the old gods. Resisted the debuff, resisted the bleed. That's what we like to see. Let's get rid of... Might as well get rid of you. What's your debuff? Yeah. Deal with you. Get out of it. The corpse mechanic is an interesting one. Shoot things at the back because we have less opportunity to hit those. Oh, that was so close. Over time. Uh, we should probably mark you. I'm not concerned about HP at this stage. Because we're going to camp again. Because, again, we're going to camp. I wonder if we can just sort of do this. It's definitely a kill plus, because it will bring this definitely into range of Dutch doing a snipe attack. Why are you constantly moving around? Can you just sort of not? Okie dokie. You're in completely the wrong place, but you can bleed stuff, so let's. Wow! You're so versatile with that. You, I, I didn't realise. And the 31 crit to finish it off is absolutely fantastic. Excellent. Well, we don't... I mean, I did want that before, but it's too late now. Damage is done. Uh, you're, you're here. Yes, that's right. Uh, you're worst off, so you might as well make it worse. Hidden treasures. Just dollar. Right. So that's going to be the boss. There may be a battle on the way. But I extremely doubt that there's going to be four battles on the way. That would be bad. We will camp. And what should we do? We will eat. Eat, eat, eat. Eat and be merry. We will de-stressed. You're the only one who needs no stress. So you might as well do other stuff. Do that. <laughs> the Warrior Stone gave us a... 10% off that, don't forget. So... Pretty good. Uh, bleeding and blight is not a thing. Less stress damage, less stress, but less accuracy and speed. Not really good. Let's see if we can de-stress uh, Viz. Uh, excuse me. That was less stress damage. Nobody has a de-stress. Well, you're going to have to de-stress yourself over time. But at least that was probably still a good idea, even though I misread. Um, because we don't want you to flip out before you get the opportunity to chill out, if that makes sense. It does make sense. Don't even pretend it doesn't make sense. Prevent nighttime ambush, increase stress by seven. I mean, it's mostly going to be buffing. 
You're the only one who has a stress reduce, and <laughs> you're the only one with any stress. We might as well do this. It's three. It gives us another three to then do. Yeah, we might as well buff everybody who can who can take it. I mean, we're already counting on the Dutch having low speed. So we should rest, hope not to get ambushed in the night. In we didn't. Hurrah! We victory. A frabjous day. Kalu Kale. Let's go. Okie dokie. Hello. Surprise, good. We know how to deal with that. Beat the crap out of them before they wake up. Uh, you actually do 6 to 11 damage. Which is probably not quite enough, apparently. 2 for 3 rounds. 5. Not enough. So we'll try and kill you. That seems to be the sensible action. We don't want anybody to be any more stressed than they already are. You are already buffed to the gills. <laughs> With amazing crit, apparently. Uh, yes, 5% crit range skills. No one needs anything, so I'll just remove the damage from this. It'd be nice to be able to remove the accuracy from those, to be fair. Because I really don't want anyone getting a disease just after we camped. Which didn't happen, but... Still a possibility, you have to admit. Well struck. Everyone's critting like a mofo right now. That's one combat. Please don't have four combats in a row. Can be felt. They can be beaten. We'll do this one, because we can. Let it not be said that I will skip curios that I can use. And let never a man a wooing Gwen that lacketh fingers three. Here we go. Cannon. Now, what is the thing here? I think the cannon summers, summons fusiliers. But I think if you kill the matchman, the cannon can't shoot. Right? Does that make sense? So we will do that. Good job. Only one hit, which is really good. And we resisted whatever it was that it was going to do to us. We will transform... Uh, we should transform... We'll do that later, when it gets damaging. When it gets... Uh, gets dire. We've only got 50 HP, so I think at least some of these units should start attacking it. But being that it has 200% everything resist, because it's made of iron, maybe we should not attack... Maybe we should not use attacks that have um, things to resist. And we should simply use attacks that will just kill it. Easy. This one, 2 to 5 is not great. 1 to 2. Yeah, we'll just shoot it a lot. Oh, um, yes, you. You can start marking it. The dodge doesn't... It's going to resist the dodge debuff. I don't care about that. I want the mark. So I'm going to have you heal yourself where possible. Try and get the uh, reinforcements. We brought a matchman back in, so that's kind of expected. Uh, you have two rounds of mark, so might as well do this. And then we'll just hack away at this. Really our only opportunity, our only option here. With 70% protection, we just have to keep doing damage to it. Uh, and maybe we should bring it closer? I don't think that really matters. No, we want it to be in the second position, so we should definitely not kill this guy. Uh, because Dutch needs to shoot it with his uh, amazing powers. We can't stun it, we can't move it. Shank. Dodge. Ha! Nice try. Bell end. Keep doing that, and every time this runs out, we'll use the occultist to remark it. Uh oh. Don't be saying we didn't miss that, we didn't hit that guy. What? Alright, don't let them. Uh, don't let the cannon fire. Hold fast, or expire. For goodness sake, don't let the cannon fire the ship. That's fine. Right, so kill the matchman always. Good to know, good to know. I, I can't, I can. Do not let the cannon fire, <laughs> for goodness sake. In which case, I'm very tempted to just transform this right now. Don't die. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, you're going to do this. That's not enough, mate. <laughs> Seriously, that's really not enough. Right. Anytime it brings in a matchman, the matchman dies. It has to. We can pull back from this. That's fine. So you're going to be doing a lot of um, 
healing in the near future. You still have a go. Oh, it's on you turn. Okay, good. Yep, heal this. Zero! You've never done a zero. Until right now. Right, here we go. It's very upsetting. Uh... Rage against this bell end? Quite enough. I just want this and please kill it, for goodness sake. <laughs> I don't want it to fire ever again. Oh my goodness. Why are you suddenly so shit at everything? Oh my god, Dutch has just died. This is outrageous! The cannon fired once and I didn't even know it was going to. And now all of a sudden this is the worst thing ever. We might have to uh, retreat. I'm reluctant to, but we may have to. Just keep killing. Fucking heal yourself, for goodness sake. There we go. Wow, you people are pissing me off right now. We have a space in our roster. Apologies to Dutch, but also at the same time, he kind of had it coming. So we just keep attacking the cannon. Finally we get to damage the cannon, but really it's only going to be Viz who can. So now you need to... Oh heavens. I'm glad this chap keeps turning up at the back to be fair. Because if he didn't, I wouldn't be able to Iron Swan him every single time, would I? Well, you're going to have to uh, transform back. <laughs> right, even It's not even going to damage this, look. Zero damage. It's got 29 HP left. I'm not going to do 29 rounds of hitting it for one damage, but I might have to. Also, when do I get a go, please? Hello? How has this mofo still got a go? If that ever misses, I am fooked. Six is good enough. We really didn't bring in a uh, DPS for this, apparently. May have to run away. Looking very close. You hit everybody. You're not supposed to hit anybody. A debuff. Let's dodge. Uh, guess it's not the worst in the world. You do not get a go. I'm just saying. Just iron swan these. So your only job right now is to make sure there are no fusiliers. Uh, but we can't blight it. We can only hit it with this. And it does one to two damage. Just, uh, just get yourself ready to transform again. No. Oh my goodness. More bleed. I want you to go first but you're slow. If they didn't come in with a, uh, an attack, that'd be great. Oh my goodness. You are going to die. Big heal. Oh, right. You have got room again. <laughs> One more of these. And then in the next turn, we can think about... Um, if this ever misses, we're hosed. <laughs> this is not going to happen. One more of those. And then in the next turn, this can... Oh my god. This can attack... Uh, can swap back. Even though that was stress. We might have to just stress out. I really feel like we're going to have to run away from this. They just keep having so many turns. What is that? That's not allowed. Oh, shit. True desperation is known. Only one escape is impossible. I'm out. <laughs> I'm leaving. That wasn't victory. I'm leaving. The reason I'm leaving, and I know I went silent for some time just now, I'll tell you why I'm leaving. As soon as Doug moved back, where did you get these diseases from? Just, just from being there. Uh, as soon as Doug moved back, there was no way we could kill the Fusilier. As soon as the Fusilier can't be killed, we're all dead. So I'm afraid Dutch has gone into Skullville. No one got any XP at all, I think. That's fine. Well, that was terrible. We can't even uh, help these people. Like, Dutch's DPS was just not enough. It would have been fine if Dutch didn't basically get one shot by the cannon. Had I realised that would happen, I would probably have done a lot more to avoid it. Honestly, to be fair, I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage. 
I wasn't sure if I did that incorrectly. It may have been that I didn't get the opportunity to Iron Swan the Fusilier. But I'm almost certain that I did, and I just screwed it up. So, uh, yeah, well done. <laughs> Damn it, Ellie. But we don't have any money. So we're going to have to take Ellie anyway. Or we don't have to. But we're going to have to do a few low-level missions just to get our money back. What should we take instead? A man at arms or a handmaster? I guess what we do is we wait for something I want. Maybe another arbalist, since that was actually a really good character to take. I just did it wrong. So that is entirely on me, and I do apologise to Dutch. Uh, here you are. You, you lasted to level 2, unlike Tim and Pete, who were killed by IRL Viz, which I still hold a grudge about to this day, and it will never, ever go away. Alas. Well... Thank you for watching. Maybe in the next episode we can make up for that grave mistake. But honestly, only three people dead by week 27? I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty good run in my opinion. Well, as I said, thank you for watching. Do join me for the next one. If you want to be named uh, for one of our future characters, drop me a line, leave a comment. You can tweet me, which I will start putting in the video descriptions from now on, I think. I say tweet me. We have a joint Twitter account, but I will nevertheless see the message. Um, and until then, do take care, have a nice day, good day, ciao, bye -zy bye -zy. thank you for being here.